Next right. we got up Renee. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Renee Horn. I've been a tenant of Anna Rags Riga and Pioneer Investments in Woonsocket for two and a half years now. From the day we moved in, we had some issues that took way too long to rectify. For instance, it took two weeks before our front door lock was rekeyed and a month before all of our electric outlets worked. Little did I know that was only the beginning. Here's a short list. The windows, the glass is broken, most locks are broken. The furnace, that went out last winter for four days. It happened to be a weekend and he doesn't have a contract with HVAC. The plumbing, we had four days this summer that our sink was filling our bathtub from the drain coming up into the tub. I had four days without it in the summer. It was pretty hot this summer. It wasn't fun. We have rats. The house up the street has rats. Their pet chinchilla of eight years was eaten by a rat. They're also pioneer tenants. We have water leaking in the basement where our storage units are. Our things are getting ruined. There's surface mold on furniture that I have down there amongst the piles of trash that I was promised two and a half years ago was going to be removed. There's water leaking into my shower, I believe from the second floor. Nobody can seem to figure out how to fix it because it doesn't go away. They have been out for that a few times. And that took a lot of yelling to get attention for. If I text him about any issue, if I got a response, he'd say, put it in the portal. That's where maintenance requests go to die. There's never any follow-up or response. The tenants in my building have done more repairs and or landscaping. My mailman couldn't get to our mailboxes, was gonna to refuse to deliver our mail. So we had to clean it up. Than any of his employees have done in two and a half years. Let me go back to my furnace. Forgot to mention, it's either going to emit carbon monoxide or catch on fire or both. And I'm afraid to turn it on. Last month I received a letter sent through text stating that my rent was increasing by $300. He wants market value. We do too. I don't believe any of these conditions are market value. Currently, I'm aware of three children that have confirmed cases of lead poisoning. Two separate buildings, two separate towns. Not sure about the unborn child yet. We all deserve a safe home. We work hard for it. If we don't have a roof over our head, we've got nothing. We're not asking for stainless steel appliances or granite countertops. We're asking for the state minimum requirements. We have a list of demands. We want to get rid of the dangerous lead paint. Bring bathrooms up to code. Fix all leaks. Deal with infestations. Bring electrical up to code. The third floor on the right side of my building happened to have their electric shut off, but didn't realize it because only half of their power went out. Then another tenant came to me and said, their electric, half of their apartment was out. And we found out that the electric is crossed in the building. Safe furnaces and adequate heat, working appliances, fix broken windows and doors, Fire safety, two exits above first floor, return security deposits, hire licensed professionals, give us adequate notice for repairs and other visits to our homes, take care of trash on our properties, no more eviction threats when rent has been paid, keep track of the portal, provide a re reliable person to call when problems arise.
So yesterday, I was fortunate enough to submit my 30-day notice. My landlord, Anna Rag, called me. Now this man I've never met face-to-face, -face, once in FaceTime. He wanted to know if, uh, if everything was okay. He thought everything was fine. I said, I'm not sure when I told you that. <laughs> and then he wanted to know if I had gotten another apartment, because otherwise he would offer to come in and fix everything right away for me. I didn't believe it. Actions speak louder than words. Yes. And over the past two and a half years, he's had deaf ears for all of our requests. I'm totally unhappy with this apartment. He has been an awful landlord, no follow up, no follow through. He ignores everything and takes all of our rent money to purchase his large home in Walpole. I believe $1.3 million home. Why wouldn't he have done all these repairs along the way to keep us happy instead of creating this problem? Because we're not creating this problem. Well, we are now. A problem for him. But we haven't brought us here. He brought us all together. He's the common denominator. And he needs to be held accountable. The state needs to recognize when somebody is buying up so many properties to make sure that they can maintain those properties. They have the money to, to purchase them. Where's the money to maintain them? Thank you. I appreciate your support.